Y'all right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kudabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at our 400th mod, which is going to be the Modular Launch Pads mod. And uh, this is being made by forum user Alpha Mense, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is the ability for you to build your own custom Soyuz and Saturn style launch pads, which should fit almost any sized rocket. It kind of does have a bit of a size limit, but you can fit some pretty big things on here. So let's jump right on into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what all this does add. So let's grab ourselves a Mark I command pod for size comparison's sake, and then turn on our janitor's closet mod filter, just leaving on modular launch pads. And then of course, Zoom out because well it's it's launch pad parts. They're they're kind of gigantic. And we're actually gonna head right down to structural, even though we actually do have two parts here in fuel tanks, but it would make a lot more sense to view them after the parts that they're meant to attach to here in structural. And this is sort of the meat of the mod. And uh, we'll start here with the Russian launch stand base, which just like the sort of standard in-game stability enhancers, does have built-in generators so you don't run out of electricity on the launch pad waiting for a launch window. And let's take a look at this baby. As you can see, it is just gigantic and beautiful and uh overall pretty simple it's got a nice little ladder here for uh kerbals to go up and of course some piping elements over here all of which uh, make a little bit more sense when you take a look at this with its companion part the russian launch stand arm assembly which goes right on top and this Oh, it's gorgeous. Now, this is where we have all the fun for this mod, at least in my mind, because you know me, I love animations and all parts with moving things. And on this, we can uh, toggle that those uh, arms do that. I I don't know what for, but they can. We can also retract the crane elevator right up there to move it out of the way for launch. We can retract the service arm on the other side, which uh, of course does go along with those pipe bits over there. We then have an elevator on the elevator lift here, which uh, we can send down for your crew to then come up this ladder and get on the elevator and then send it back up to the capsule. And we have a number of other toggleable bits. This uh, sort of primary ramp bit goes up and down. It then also kind of moves back and forth if you'll look right there. You can see it kind of retracting there. Uh, we also have uh, that bit of the service arm that goes up and down. And then the service arm bit that kind of goes in and out right there. So a lot of good moving parts on this thing. And all in all, it can fit a pretty large rocket. You're not going to be launching anything too gigantic. But as you can see, you should be able to safely fit up to a 2.5 meter rocket in here. Very nice. We then uh, have the next part here, which we should probably look at after we take a look at the next base. Because there are, of course, parts that go with the different bases. This being the Russian base, we can then take that off and take a look here at the Saturn Mobile Launch Base Large, which, oh, is, well, large. Very, very large. It's, it's kind of supposed to go, well, almost had it. There we go. Look at the size of this thing. It is just a gigantic launch platform for you to really build to your heart's content. More or less any size rocket you want. It's just ginormous. And of course comes with a number of attachment points as you can see for all the various bits and bobs. Now if you don't want one that's quite so massive, you can actually drop it for the uh, just standard size base platform, which is you know, much more manageable here. Has all the same attachment points, as you can see. They're just all a bit more uh, compacted in. And just like on uh, this one here, it is a decoupler, so, you know, you can put your build your rocket on top of this and then launch. We do have over here an elevator that does go up and down for the crew to get on board. And, uh, yeah, we can then build on top of it 
all sorts of lovely things. Now we have another base uh, here with the Saturn Tower Milk Stool, which, there we go, not quite as large as the other, but still a very nice thing here, and does of course have a little elevator over here, which, I mean, only goes down one floor, but hey, it, it works. And also has the ability for you to switch colors from gray to red on this one, which is nice. Now we do still have one more base, the Soyuz launch pad base. Uh, there we go, pop that on. Again, we have a lovely elevator to go up and down, as well as a ladder, and just another beautiful base to work off of. Now we're gonna go back to uh, the normal size Saturn base, as it has enough attachment points for us to basically grab all the rest of the parts pretty easily. Now we have some more bits that go along with it. We have these rectangular inserts, which go into this rectangular hole here. Now we have the Saturn Launcher Base Insert Rectangle 1, there we go, which gives you some more additional bits. You may have noticed that uh, some of the attachment points actually make a bit more sense. They were floating in the air prior to adding that insert. If we actually just take it out, you can see they are just kind of floating there in space. Uh, but this gives them a place to be, well at least some of them, and also does give you a few additional attachment points. Now we then have the Rectangle Insert number 2, just a different style of insert a bit smaller of an area all in all but still good to have we then have insert number three which again is just simply another design of insert again with a even smaller area we then have the insert a square one which gives you a nice square interior area rather than the rectangular we were seeing prior and then finally we have the launcher base insert square Two, with just a smaller area and different styling. Now if we zoom in a bit here into this area, we'll take a look at some of the hold down arms, which really don't serve much of a function. They are purely there to give you something to animate and make your launch look a bit more impressive. And we have the hold down arm one, which uh, we can just retract the arm there. Ooh, did not mean to click that out. There we are, so we can retract the arm up and down. There there we go. We then have the hold down arm number two, which does, you know, same deal, just an arm that does retract and, uh, you know, technically release the rocket, even though it really doesn't. The base of the launch pad itself is the decoupler. These are just animated bits. We then have the hold down arm three, which, there we go, just has a little retractable arm. And we then have the hold down arm of four, which is just a smaller version of the last. There we are. We then have the Saturn tail service mast, which, uh, much bigger, but basically, same deal, it just retracts that little bit. We then have, actually let's keep a look at some of the other arms. This is the Soyuz arm, of course, here, which we can pop onto there. And uh, this one, we can't manually retract, but it will automatically retract when you launch. It uh, it works its way into the staging, as you can see. Oh, no, actually, that's just the decoupler for the main base stand. But uh, in use, it does move back when you do launch, which works out quite well. We then also have a uh, just a visual piece, a Soyuz counterweight part there. Uh, uh, to put on the arms, actually, I believe. And then we have the Soyuz launch pad hinge, which, if I could actually attach onto the right thing I was intending to, there we go, is just another hinge for this whole system right here. And uh, yeah, it all works together quite nicely. And uh, those are all of these sort of individual elements that go along with the pads, but we have, of course, more Saturn parts to play with in the form of the towers, and that is what all of these parts are. You can basically build a tower as tall as you want, pretty much, and it's glorious. So we have two parts that are meant to sort of go on first. We have this angled bit here, which is an angled floor, which with has three stories on it, and does have an internal elevator that will go down the central column, and of course we can change the color from red to gray. Uh, we then have, uh, besides this one, we have a 2 floor, or a 2x floor, 
here, which again has an elevator which will go between those floors. Uh, we then have a 1x floor section, which is, you know, just what it says on the tin. Actually, I think it needs to connect to one of these. Yes, there we go. And again, it has, uh, you know, the ability to change color here and acts as just an additional floor on your overall tower. We then have a different style of floor, this one being our meant for crew access from the name of it, which uh, does have the toggleable whole floor bit there, which moves, which is pretty cool. Uh, we then have this floor top, which I guess is, you know, meant to be sort of the roof of the overall thing. We then have this 2x floor tower section here, again with the colors switching. We then have a much larger 4x tower section right here, which is glorious, there we go. And then of course an 8x tower section. And isn't it beautiful? Now, no matter which one you grab, the 8X or just one of the 1X floors, you'll notice we have attachment points moving along the side. And that is now when we can go back to the fuel tanks category. That is what these are for. We have the Saturn Tower arms in two different styles. We can attach that one there and that one there. And as you can see, they are, you know, just nice little arms that we can, of course, change the color and then retract the arm in towards the tower. Very cool, both very nice styles. And uh, as for that, nothing in engines, nothing in command and control. I believe, yes, we should have gone through all the parts here in uh, structural. No coupling, because, well, the launch pad itself is a decoupler. No aerodynamics or ground or thermal or electrical or communication or science, but we do have one last thing here in utility, the Saturn Tower Hammerhead Crane, which goes on the top. There we go. And uh, again, we can change the color on it. Very nice. Uh, and yeah, it's, it's a giant freaking crane and is in fact an unmanned command pod to control the whole thing with the built-in data transmitter, a decoupler, uh, reaction wheel, the two different switchable types, and electric charge of 10,000. So yeah, we got um, a lot of awesome parts for you to build your own modular cranes. Now, one small problem I have with the thing. Uh, if you do build these, uh, notice that we have that elevator and notice it kind of flashes in here. And that's because the uh, Saturn tower kind of assumes you're gonna build a full-size tower because the elevator stops you know, somewhere up here. I don't actually know if we can see it with how everything is arranged right now inside. Uh, let's see if we can see the darn thing. Oh boy, uh, let's go elevator up. There it is, way up in the roof. <laughs> so the elevator, it, it kind of goes to its maximum height that it's meant to go to, way up there in the roof. Now, uh, as long as you don't send the elevator all the way up, that's kind of fine, I guess, but it's a little bit strange. Now, of course, in practice, uh, it's it's not so bad, but still, it's just kind of awkward that it it assumes the elevator is going to be way up here. Uh, but yeah, that is our wonderful part. So let's take a look at two that I built uh, here real quick, which uh, first being the Soyuz Pad Fool. And there we go, a little Soyuz launch pad with those hinges, the counterweights added onto the arms, and oh boy, I actually need to add some crew. No, we are good with the crew, so let's just take a look at a quick launch with this, and then we'll take a look at the uh, Saturn one. And I really like this, because it's cool to have something else besides just the standard launch enhancers, or stability en enhancers, whatever they're called. I always forget the name of the dark things. You know, the thing that holds up your rocket before launch. This serves the same purpose, and it gives you more style, more opportunities to do some more things. Like, of course, we have the elevator down here, which we can send our crew up with. You know, have a little truck comes in, lets the crew out, they go up the elevator, and, you know, do their thing, which actually it'd be kind of hard for them to then get into their capsule up here, but, yeah, you know, you could make it through that somehow, possibly. 
<laughs> but it's just nice having a different look to things. So if we actually throttle up, I should be able to just decouple. And three, two, one. There we go. The arms go back, as I said they would. And we launch into our flight nice and safely. And that... That's the Soyuz one. Just a quick little look at that one. Now, so let's head back in to the vehicle assembly building and then have a look at... Oh, God, where did I put it? There we go, the Saturn pad uh, basic one here, where we have the standard sort of smaller sized uh, Saturn launch pad with a number of those hinge hold down arm bits, which I have added to action group so we can animate them. Two of the different towers here, and of course our strange elevator, which goes way into the sky. There it actually is all the way up there. <laughs> all right, so let's, oh, do we have crew? We have crew, we're good. Let's launch and uh, just take a look at this beautiful thing. I, I love this. And just imagine, of course, using the larger launch pad and all the things, all the many other things you could build onto it. But let's uh, actually bring down the elevator. And oh god, I think I just activated my Alexa. Let's see if we can mute that there for a moment. Hopefully you don't hear it going off in a second. <laughs> All right. Oh, yep, there is the the elevator slowly coming down from the ether. That's yeah, that's the one thing. The one thing that bothers me with this is is the elevator. I wish it wasn't quite so weird. But everything else is awesome. For instance, if I let's turn that off and get a nice uh, nice camera angle on the thing. There we go. Oh nope, lost it, lost it, lost it. There we are. And if I hit one, well there goes the first air, the first arm retracting back. Two, the second arm retracts back. Then on a three, we'll have those things retracting. Four, those ones, and then we can just throttle up and launch away we go. And we are off into the cosmos. And that, that's just fun. I love having these modular launch pads to mess around with. It's just a cool idea. And uh, one that I think all of you should play around with. So if you would like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I would definitely recommend that you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, folks. I hope you all have enjoyed. And of course that you do come back for the next episode. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.